Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, playing a game I have yet to play on the channel at the time of this, Stellaris. So, we're going to start a new game, and we're just going to go ahead and choose United Nations of Earth as our first campaign together on this channel. Uh, game details, I have no idea what this is like. I'll be honest, this is probably good for me to know what's going on, but I have no idea. So, because this is my first campaign in Stellaris, literally my first campaign where I'm going to try to complete it as far as I can, I'm going to ask for all y'all's help. If I, if I do things that you, you question, things that you could give me tips and help on, please, please let me know in the comments below because I want to learn how to play Stellaris. Sort of. And then, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can do well enough in which we can do, maybe do a few more campaigns in Stellaris, just like other Paradox titles, but we are the United Nations of Earth, a representative democracy, which means something. We have fanatic egalitarianism, it looks, looks okay. Uh, and we also are xenophiles. Cool, I guess. Uh, beacon of liberty, civics and ethics, huh? happiness. And we're human, continental preference, adaptive. Nomadic and wasteful. And but before we go too far, though, I do want to say that what mods I'm using, not mods, I'm not using any mods. The DLC that I have is everything from the beginning up to right before Federations. I do not have the Federation DLC. I have everything before the Federations DLC. And that is what we are currently playing with. So let me see if I remember what to do. We have a science ship. And using science ships, this is a map. Uh, there's a bunch of smoke in the middle. Let's see, I'm probably going to choose the wrong area to colonize first, or just scout first. But I do see this little area, which looks like a good place for us to hold. Probably for defensive measures, and I'm not going to press enter yet. This might not be bad as either, so... Hmm, that looks like it has three stars. Is that stars? If you see three dots there, does that mean stars? Cool, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Really, I need your help in the comments. This is how I learned EU4, and I learned a lot when I played EU4. So we're going to do that. They're going to survey that if I hold shift... They should be able to survey this. Survey, survey. I, I guess I'm going to go all the way to the edge of the universe. And I think with the shipyard, I probably want two science ships. So we can do two at the same time. So you go one dire this direction, one the other direction, and one come up here as well. Uh, research? I have no idea what is best for research. All I know is that researching stuff would be good. Uh, he has a bonus to particles, which... Particles? Nice. Fusion reactor. Is that good? Seems like it would be, since it is a technology that will lead to further advancements in several different fields. Uh, research, mm, research speed, Ooh, physics research. That's only five percent, but if we get it now, it applies to all research later on. Here, probably planetary unification, since this is gives you more monthly unity. Uh, what is this person good with? Leader lifespan. Well, that doesn't really help us with too much. Naval capacity from soldier jobs. We'll just do planetary unification and Chang Shen. This person's good at just research. Maniacal. I can speak sometimes and read words. Engineering research, that looks probably pretty good. Cool. I think that's all we can do at the very beginning. We're going to speed it up just a little bit. And I have seen people play using or selling off goods early on. I'm not going to do that. I am a complete 100% noob at Stellaris until you guys help me out with all of your, hopefully, tons of comments. Please keep them civil, though. Please. But, you know what? I really appreciate your comments. Let's see. Uh, science, where are you guys at? Just go right ahead, have a good time. I know there's things like anomalies. Ooh, oh, it's kind of nice and bright and shiny. Oh, I like this place. Pulsar. This looks really cool. Look at this. That looks really awesome. But you know what? We got a construction ship. You're there. And we have you. The U UNS Nobel. So we're gonna send him this way next. I want you to do this. Oh, we need, oh yeah, we of course we need a leader. And I don't want to do it like last time I'd play this off screen. We need to recruit someone new, which doesn't cost us anything. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I have no idea. Research speed for field manipulation. Research, research. Why is this all research? Oh, it does cost us 200 energies. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we can't recruit him, so we don't have enough energy. Oh, whoops, my bad. I guess we'll have to wait a month. All right, now we can recruit someone new. Yeah, industry. Which one's the most worthless? I don't know. I'm going to go with this person, Orietta Marino, just because she seems available. Cool. I'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave your name. That's fine. Cool. Now I'll go ahead and do this. Survey. Survey. I, I assume we're going to survey a lot. I'm going to get up to here, too. And then we'll see what happens. But I do want to watch what's going on in here, though. Ooh. 
Pulsar. Oh. Resources, cool. Um, I'm not sure if it's worth getting more Empire Sprawl. I'm not exactly sure how Empire, Empire Sprawl works. I know we have a fleet here. We need like a leader here. Do we have a cost? We do have a cost. Everything has to have a cost. Why can't there be anything like a free lunch? I'm not sure if we add this to our little group here. Maybe, maybe not. We could get three research thingies, I guess. Uh, there's Unity. There's uh, Physic. Well, be worth it. Oh, System Survey. Cool. Strategic Resource Discovered. Uh, dubbed Volatile Motes. Pretty natural. Or. Preternatural particles containing a tremendous amount of energy. Cool. Volatile motes. These pre contain a tremendous amount of energy which could be exploited in energy production as fuels or even explosives. Cool. Um you should have options here. Now, can we come here and build something? We are lacking alloys. Th these are called alloys. Ooh, star base. Is it worth doing star bases? I'm thinking probably not here. Maybe you get more mineral. Can we, we could build a star base. Is that worth doing? I have no idea. Mm, this star is not within our borders. How do we get stars within our borders? I don't mind having a research station because there's. Oh, it's an environmental hazard. Oh. Because this is. I mean, yeah, this, this is a step before they get to Earth. But if we go to here and block that off, and we go to here and block, block that off, and we go to here and block that off, we should be okay, right? Also, what do we have for over here? Contact situation log. Uh, bring your monthly alloy surplus up to at least 12 per month. Well, it seems like we've hit that. Markets, planet sectors, expansion planner policies. Look, ma'am, you tell me everything I need to know, okay? In the comments below. I've, I've been watching videos on how to play Stellaris, but a wealth creation, current policy, what does that do? Consumer benefits. Earn just one energy. Each collected trade value. Oh, that's cool. Population. Is it worth getting robots? It might be. Can I use robots? Are we allowed to prohibit population controls? Yeah. Oh, slavery. Oh, we don't like slavery? Okay. Resettlements. Cool. Just, yeah. Oh, construction ship, you are hanging out here. Now, how do I expand my borders? Do I want to include this in my borders? We have moat stabilization. Oh, we need the technology for that. Mm. How do I expand my borders? Because I would like that thing eventually. I mean... I could build a star... What is it? What is it? Just to claim star systems and expand your borders. You can only build built around a star. It gives, keeps an upkeep of one. Actually, what can we do here? Build a, I would like a research station. Monthly upkeep of that. Yeah. Oh, it was over here. Bernard Star. What's over here? Anything worth... Doesn't look like there's anything worth here at all. Except for the star. Is it worth building here? Maybe, maybe not. Ooh, environmental effects. Cool. Oh, we might be able to colonize this place. Let's see. Tropical world. Hmm. Not been surveyed yet. That's okay. That's why we send out two ships at a time, right? Cool. Cool. Oh, it's a... Oh, that's it. Ooh. Planet size 10, wet climate, humid, rocky world. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad for us then. How is this looking? Discovery of alien life. We may not be out, we may not be alone out here. Uh, where is that? Go to, and then that, that quick button is Q, cool. Cool, oh, anomaly. Do we research this now or later? Research time, that. Ooh, I want to research stuff. I really do. Routine. Your skill. Change scientist. 38. Uh, now, I'll just leave it alone for now. What is that? Traditions. Oh, boy. Now, I'm going to probably choose a tradition that people would probably don't want me to do, maybe. Discovery. Would that be good to do right now? Unlocks the edict of map the stars. Anomaly research speed could be pretty good. Adopting everything in the tr discovery traditions increases the research speed by 10%. I've heard that research is actually really extremely good to do. Because much research is possible. Survey speed increased by 35%. Okay, that's not bad. Or I guess. Scientist level cap increased by 2. Experience gain goes up by 25%. Research subsidies. 
cool. Pops working with research had their upkeep reduced by 20%. I've heard this is good. I also kind of like Harmony as well. Consume less m food. Harmony Rose of Prosperity, I can't remember. Or maybe Expansion. Uh, leader lifespan, uh, that doesn't seem like it's super important. Uh, defensive War, uh, maybe it wasn't this one. Stability, Prosperity, what does that one do? More mining output. Mining jobs, upkeep is reduced by 10%. Additional clerk jobs, building costs reduced by 10%. Building speed increased by 25%. I'm trying to be relatively peaceful here too. Colony development speed, not bad, I guess. Empire Sprawl. I don't I don't under, understand Empire Sprawl that well. Starbase upkeep, population growth speed increased by 10%. Uh you know what? Diplomacy isn't bad. Empire trade value increases by 10%. Market fee. Eh. Trade federations. I've no idea what that works. Form federation. Oh man. Yeah, please let me know what that does. Uh, let's go with Discovery, because it seems like it's pretty good. Anomaly Research Speed seems pretty good to get. Cool. Oh. There's a buzz about New World. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. You know what? Because this is my first campaign, let's just go ahead and do this. Maybe it requires influence. Let's just try that. I, I've never done that one before. We get some stuff there too. So it's busy doing stuff. The Erasian Concordat. Interesting. Oh, event chain, huh? I like the blue here. I really do. Cool. Well, it's busy. Remnants. Okay. Cool. I guess. You guys. Oh, is this worth? This seems like this place would be worth keeping. Oh, what is that? 30% for humans. That does not seem very good. Tundra World. Yeah, that does not seem very good to put or colonize, so we're probably not going to. An anomaly? 150. Jeez. That's a long time. Leave B for now. I suppose we'll do that. Nice. And we have a base here. Cool. What else can we do here? Anything else? Mining station, research station, yes please. I guess. You know, that probably costs stuff, right? This place has been fully surveyed. Nice. This is probably a place we want to add because we get... Well, that's not a lot of energy. That's quite a bit of minerals, it seems like. Cool. Well, what I know about Stellaris at the time of this recording is that you want to build and expand your empire quickly. As, you know, as quickly as possible. But don't be dumb about it. But that begs the question, how far should we go? Because I'm still trying to expand out this way. Oh, we actually added this to our group. Nice. Very good. Oh, ooh. Oh, look at this. Alpha Centauri Centauri stuff. Nice. Research station. I guess that's worth it. Anywhere else we can do anything here? Build an observation post, probably not. Fleet stance. I don't think we can do anything else here. What is this world? It's 0%. It's, it's just a rock. That's literally all it is. Resources. We need that tech, though, because we can't do anything with it. Um, yeah, is there anything I can do with that? Oh, build a mining station, but we need that thingy, so... Don't really feel like entering orbit. We get three more research there. Mm. 80% nice. That's 80%. That's some percentage. It's probably not worth building it there. Definitely want to get up to here. Let's go... Wait, Intel. Did you not finish? Intel level high. What are they doing around here? Oh, get to Alpha Centauri 3 soon. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, three right there. Hmm. Medium. Why do they not do everything that they need to do in one area first? It doesn't make any sense. Can this ship do anything with this? Build enter orbit. Well, you guys come here. We're lacking this. Influence. Monthly gain. Cool. 
I do want to know about this. Ooh, what about this? 90%. That's, that's, that's probably worth getting then. Probably, right? That's probably worth getting. 36. Physics. More physics is nice. Oh, are you coming back here? No, no. I told you to come here. So maybe we can colonize here and there. Theater's gain a level. Cool. Is there anything I can do about that? Probably not. Um, build a shipyard. Maybe we can colonize it. We got enough... What is that? Alloys, food, consumer goods. Australia class, okay. Yep, I guess we'll build one at least for now. There's nothing I can do here because, well, we don't have... Where do we enter orbit? What does that do? Not really anything. You just get close to it. Cool. What are you guys doing over here? What are you guys doing over here? Oh my goodness, you have so much to look at. Oh, anomaly. Oh no, let's save that for later. Leave it be for now. Oh, tradition. Ooh, survey. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. That seems like a good idea right now, right? I mean, we're trying to research things or search for things as fast as possible, so. Find an anomaly, leave it be for now. No, an archaeological site. We could. Oh god, are you excavating stuff now? Chapter 1. Oh, difficulties. Hmm. Are you digging for stuff now? Surveying. Oh, you're just moving. That's good. I guess you can move there. Let's see. One of the three star base capabilities. Outpost and account toward, toward this cap. Naval capacity. Yeah. Just let me know pretty much everything I need to know about this. Where is this? Anyways. So that's over here. Okay, that's over there. Cool. And you guys are just hanging out because not much we can do here until we actually fully research an area. I'm not sure why the, these places leave before we can research an area. Like, you cannot just come here and we could build an outpost. Is it worth building an outpost? I have no idea. That would be a good defensive position for that maybe, but leave it be... Oh, no, it be scalable too. We could do that. Uh, I guess we could do one. There's a colony ship. Mm hmm. Eighty percent versus ninety percent. Let's go over here. Nice. Oh, and they're almost done here. Good. You know what? We're going to need you here too. Let them get, come over here and have a good time. We got plenty of energy credits, plenty of minerals. I like that. It seems like a good idea. Ooh, nice, good. Now, can you build a star base? I guess we have to build a star base to claim it. That's fine then. Coprolite asteroid. Remarkable. Cool. Can we come down to Alpha Centauri? This looks like it's a good place to be. Planetary features, toxic kelp, impassable mountains. Cool. Oh, why did it change colors? What the heck? An anomaly. No, leave it be for now. Is it worth researching more anomalies? It might be. I have no idea. Normally, in a lot of things that I do, and I try this by myself. Oh my gosh. Well, leave it be for now. Jesus Christ. I normally do that. Oh, what is that? What is it? What's in here? Red ore? Was it Reddit? Red ore? Red ore one. How's this chance? Giants? Science. Ship looking. Uh, this place is looking okay. We get some society research. Okay, then. You guys are almost there, ready to get this area, which would be nice. Has been fully. S oh. Hello. Where are we going? Ah, uh, you guys are done. That that's probably not really worth doing stuff here, adding it to our empire or whatever. Yeah, okay, I don't want to add it too much. Just enough, right? Cool. Are you 60% of the way there? Then we'll colonize this area as well. Uh, can we just call it ahead? Yeah, we have to uh, colonize things that are only within our borders, which is fine. And it's within our borders. Cool. Now we can have some mining stations that cost more energy. But if I do it like this one, it probably shouldn't cost us too much, right? Off the right, let's colonize the planet. Sure. 
The first human colony. Cool. A great day for the United Nations of Earth. Engineering gain. Cool. Very cool. Hey, tradition. Let's see. Research subsidies. Is that worth it? Now, where is that even found? There's a situation log. Let's see. Yep, this is the one we want at least 12 a month, which is what we're doing. Anyone home? Alpha Centauri, uh, Alpha Centauri 4A and detected some artificial structures. Track on the map. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. That's fine, yeah. Precursors. Uh, artifacts. Cool. Um, Manus Expansion Planner. Don't want to look at all that. That looks like all like a different language to me. And what was that other one? Uh, war Philosophy. Diplomatic Stance. Expansionist. Isolationist. Cold Belligerent. Supremacist. Trade. Yeah, we already looked at that one. Um, what was this one again? This one was Edict. Oh, we're talking about Edicts. The edicts are here. Fortify the border, which costs influence, it looks like, right? Yep, influence. I'm getting it a little bit. Map the stars. Now, what does that do? Wow. More survey speed. Anomaly discover chance speed. Encourage political thought. Star base upgrade speed. Empire sprawl from systems. Ooh, that might not be good. Hmm. So maybe we want to choose this edict so that way we can get more research station output by 10%. That might be good. Theater experience gain, that's okay. Pops, uh, you know what, we can try that, right? This is my first campaign. Hopefully it doesn't go terribly for us, but I have no idea. We'll see what happens. Oh, we can't even do that yet though, because we can't afford it. Oh. Oh well, it is what it is. Now should I go ahead and colonize the other planet immediately? Is that a good thing to do? Is not is that not a good thing to do? I have no idea. Oh, and you're looking around for this. How are we looking right now? So we have three places under us. Empire Spall 42. Out of all these places that we've found so far, we have Alpha Centauri over here. We have this group over here, and we're still looking for oh maybe a potentially ha habitable planet over here. Now, I definitely want this group under us. <coughs> Paragur looks pretty good. Potentially. Ooh, nice. Okay. Close it for now. Um, that looks pretty good because it has a lot of resources. Over here, it looks okay. Even though it does have a, a, a bat habitable planet. Maybe I should not have colonized this one. Or not colonized, but added to my borders. This seems not bad either since it has trade value. I've heard trade value is really good. Research so far over there. Obviously, we want to keep that one. We need to explore other directions as well. Where are you at? What are you doing in here? Go ahead. I'm just going to colonize pretty much everything. Uh, actually, do you need a research station around here at all? Observation post? No. Mining? Cool. And research. Mining station alpha 10%. That doesn't seem too bad. What is this? Base strike crap? Is that good? Planetary build speed sounds really good as well. That's 3,000. Research speed. Let's get output. Output seems like a good thing, right? It's always good to have more output, right? At least that's what I know from Hearts of Iron 4. Output is always nice. Cool. Oh, that looks like a really cool planet right here. Oh, oh yep, and you're... Oh, you're done! Alright, so did you miss anything? Oops, my bad. Uh, unit Intel... Research Anomalies. Oh, cool. uh, I don't want to go that way. Uh, I kind of want to keep expanding to see what's out here, but I do need we do need to know what's coming up here. I might just add this. Should I add this to like our empire and build like a base here? Because that's a pretty seems like a good position to be in. I want you to come here first though, and then do this one as well. Do this one so we can come over here, and then double back this way. Go there. And go there too. Because I just want to know what's going on. Potentially anyone that's around us. Having a good time. Mm hmm. Oh, station, good. How is the colony doing right now? Oh, that one's really rocky. Well, I hope we don't colonize that place. Because we can't. Uh, mining station, cool. How about you guys? Colonizing the planet. Okay. You guys are over here. Now, if I do this, normally it costs one upkeep. But if I do it here, it costs us some minerals to get some more energy, maybe? That should be okay, right? Should I build a second construction ship? Yes? Maybe? No? Maybe? Hello, research ship. Goodbye. Should I build a third science ship? That might be worth it. I have no idea. 
But you know what? I think this video's gone long enough where I need to take in some feedback from you guys. So please, please guys, like I said earlier, leave some feedback for me. What should I do next? Now we've kind of discovered what the area around us. What places should we add to our borders? What places should I focus on? Um, tell me things that I might need, need to know if I want to be successful in this campaign and if we can continue to do more Stellars on this channel. But if that's going to be it for today's episode. If you liked today's episode, consider leaving a like. Maybe subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow, or at least in the next video, with a lot more information. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.